Hello to all of our YouTube family of subscribers and viewers. Today is a special edition video to summarize the just passed 2023 Barrett Jackson Collector Car Auction, held from January 21st through the 29th. As always, it was held at the incomparable Westworld facility in Scottsdale, Arizona. Over 300,000 people attended the event for its nine day run. Since we live in the Phoenix area, this is always one of our favorite events and we never miss it. This year was the 53rd annual. Even though you'd think it can't get better year to year, it always does. This year, Barrett Jackson had a record number of consigners for both their road art and their automotive offerings. Road art was auctioned each day prior to the start of the cars, which made the day fun from the minute we arrived at Westworld. The road art pieces are incredible, both in quality and rarity. There were several hallmark pieces that were bid up quickly, and each piece was offered at no reserve, ensuring that each found a new home. A shipping service is on location to make sure the items are packaged carefully and shipped quickly to their final destinations. Here are the top selling items from the road art offerings. But the vehicles offered are always the biggest stars of this sale. Over 1,900 were offered and all at no reserve. Total sales amounted to $190.6 million, including over $6 million for the road art. Best of all, five vehicles were sold for charity, with all proceeds directly going to each one. Charity sales at Barrett-Jackson have now exceeded $150 million. A big thanks to them and the generous bidders for making a big difference for each of these organizations. Here are the top 10 sellers of the auction. There were other cars that were not for sale and they were competing in the Barrett-Jackson Cup. We think every one of the 50 cars participating were top notch, but the field was narrowed down to five and then finally the winner. The cars were all scrutinized by legendary builders Bobby Alloway and Troy Trepanier, two respected builders that eventually selected their favorite car. We're sure glad we weren't Bobby and Troy because each entry was very impressive. People's Choice voting was also conducted, and here is the winner. In addition to everything else, there were also driving experiences held by Chevrolet, Dodge, Ford, and Toyota where you could actually run laps in their cars 
that were piloted by professional drivers. What thrills they provided for everyone. There were also Pinewood Derby races held by the local Boy Scouts and a motocross bike exhibition that was truly exciting to watch. There were many car related vendors throughout the facilities and you could speak to each of them about their offerings. In addition, under one of the large tents were vendors of all descriptions selling sculpture, artwork, jewelry, boats, automobilia, die-cast cars, and so much more. Barrett Jackson also sponsored several live symposiums throughout the week. We attended the Predicting Tomorrow's Collectibles, which we found very interesting and thought-provoking. To see specific info on sales results or more info and pics of all your favorites, go to Barrett Jackson's website. The next Barrett Jackson event will be in Palm Beach, Florida on April 13th through the 15th. Don't miss it. If you can't get there in person, you can always watch the extensive television coverage of all the different Barrett Jackson events. This is truly an event that you should attend every year, and every car enthusiast should get there at some point in their life. Mere descriptions and photos cannot capture the spirit and excitement of this annual event. It's barely over, and we can't even wait until next year.
Leave a comment if you've ever been here or what you think of the cars or the road art that was sold this year. And thanks for watching.